Hey guys, we're at Rad Power Bikes headquarters for something a little bit different. This is kind of gonna be a review of the Rad Burrow. Look at this thing, like it's, it's a bicycle, it has pedals, but we've got this huge cargo box thing on the back and I'm here with Brian Rinkenberger. Rinkenberger. Yep. Yeah, yep, I was close. I was very close. And I just wanted to, you know, pick your brain and kind of have you introduce this thing. What's going on? Yeah, so this, this is a new product uh, for Rad Power Bikes. This is going to be the foundation of our commercial division. I'm new with the company. I just started a month ago. Welcome. And I'm here to, to really build and grow uh, that commercial business um, with, with the Burrow uh, as really kind of the cornerstone of that business. And then really exploring uh, and seeing, you know, we, where in the market we can evolve this business. Okay, so in the background here, we have all these other 2018 models. We got the Rad Rover, the Rad City, the Rad Mini, and then I, you know, the Rad Wagon, that's traditionally been your like utilitarian right. baskets and stuff. And this right. thing just blows it out of the water. And you said commercial, okay, so can a normal person buy this or what do you what's the intention here so minimum quantity of two on the borough um, the pricing is killer on on this thing it comes in just above uh, five thousand okay. um, dollars and and so really uh, it's better than better more competitively priced than anything on the market what is it compared to I mean we're like I see this over here these are some of the accessories guys so there's like a fridge heater kind of a food box I suppose so that would be people delivering a lot of pizzas yeah so the great thing about this is that it's modular yeah um, we've got essentially a truck bed here uh -huh. uh, you know and i imagine if somebody uh is delivering boxes cargo things like that uh we use we'd use the truck bed um this is refrigerated and heated so this cargo box is uh is useful not only for removing cargo but also for perishables whether you need to keep things hot or cold we've got the rickshaw attachment here if pedicab you're in, if you're in the pedicab business look at that and then check it out it's got uh, a little bit of a secret like, cubby hole back there. I love that. Yeah, and then uh, the flatbed here is for for you know whatever else you need to move. I mean, what if someone wanted two of these things? Do you sell them incrementally like that? Yeah, yeah. So you can absolutely, and it's really easy. It's just a couple bolt attachments to take one off and put the other one on. So you know, if you're hauling boxes Monday through Friday, and then running people around uh, tailgating down by the stadium uh, on the weekends. And you can throw the rickshaw on the back and you're good to go. Right. This Rad Burrow really excited me because I remember being in high school and they had like campus monitors uh, and then also the people that would go around and do like lawn maintenance and stuff. Right. And they always had the internal combustion engine thing and I never really thought much about it, but now it's like, well, there's gasoline you got to store. Right. There's kind of the fumes and, and stuff going on. Right. And they, they're probably a lot heavier than this. Even a golf cart. Uh, do you know how much this, this weighs? Like it's, I think it was like, 250 oh, okay. um, is, is the weight of the unit here, and that includes uh, a 50-hour battery. Mike, uh, you've been working on this, kind of putting the design together, and I want to go take a ride and stuff, but before we do, it's bright in here. Can you just, I want to see what's under the hood. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, take me for a little tour. Yeah, we have a, a color LCD display on the uh, handlebars there. Does it come with this thing, or is this just... That's an option that we sell for all of our bikes, but that's a, a really handy thing for, you know, someone who's got a route that they got to hit for their deliveries. Okay. It just drops the phone in there. It fits any phone, so that's handy. You can have your, you know, bike stats on the screen and, and uh, delivery route on the phone. Okay, so I'm going to come to this side. Do you want to boot up the... Here, let me do it. Like, I'll hold this. Yeah, I think Is that right we, in the middle? Yes, yeah, so there's actually a disable switch on the lithium-ion battery you pack. You locked me so out? So it's disabled right now. So <laughs> oh, that's one of the important features is we, everything's got locks on it. So both the tilting mechanism, so the beds tilt, the draw latches have locks on them, the cool. battery pack has a lock on it, uh, the display has a lockout so you can actually you know park the bike and no one can turn it on. Huh. So a lot of redundancy there, just kind of the lockout features. I don't know if you heard, but earlier I was talking to Brian about how they had these little like electric golf carts at my uh, school when I was growing up. Sure, yeah. At least they were electric. Um, but I remember the kids used to like hop in there and jam popsicle sticks in and try to like <laughs> ride them around. It was awesome, but I guess it's good to have security. Can we turn it on or yeah, do you absolutely. want it? Do you want to show them anything before we yeah, turn it on? Why don't I tilt the bed? So all of the attachments have these draw latches built onto them. Okay. So they actually also have Ooh. the pneumatic arm there to, to yeah, kick it out. Yeah, smooth. So whether you're a gardener or, you know, whatever you need to tilt out, whether it's gravel or, or what you got going on. Or you can it, clean it out. Yeah, tilt's also beneficial because now you can access the electronics. You have a uh, motor controller, uh, charger, onboard 1400 watt charger, and a real cord. So you have the, the cord actually comes right out of here and you have a 20 foot extension cord. Oh, so you can, sweet. you can walk straight over to whatever outlets you got nearby. And Just plug it in without, that, that's great because on a lot of these other electric bikes, you usually have like a little plastic, you, you kind of have to keep track of it. 
So with this one, it's built in. How many amps? Like, what, what's the yeah, charging? So it's, in? A, it's a 25 amp charger. Wow. So that's what we really went kind of overkill, but for the, the purposes of taking away range anxiety, making it simple for people. So not only can you hot swap the pack, so there's a latch oh, over the can, top. Oh, you there. can just take the battery and totally. like swap it out. That totally. So I'll pull the battery out for you too, so you can kind of see um, functionality here. So once that's out, you just disconnect the bayonet plugs back here. So they're just half twist plugs huh. and the whole battery lifts out. It's just 31 pounds. Um, 31 pounds. Okay. That was my other question. Like how, how much the battery weighs, but this is uh, 48 volts. You said yeah, 52.5 amp hours. So wow. It's very substantial. So that's similar size to an electric motorcycle, mm -hmm. but this is half the weight of an electric motorcycle. So you can see the, we really had range and, you know, overcoming range anxiety for our commercial customers in mind. So okay. How far do you think it can go on a charge? Uh, so we've done over 50 miles, fully loaded down, running around Seattle, uh, you know, 50 to 100 plus miles, depending on the you know, weight of the cargo. Okay. Well, I love the, the tilting bed option. Does that, is that the same for all of these? Yeah, or? exactly. So tilt's available for all of them. So you can access the electronics, pull the battery pack out quicker and, uh, and, and, and what have you. Well, can we, okay. I want to see the display now, if that's okay. Wait, yeah. we got to plug the bayonet plug yeah, back so in I'll, here. I'll pop that back on there. It's going to be difficult one handed because it actually has a waterproof plug. Oh, <laughs> I'm like plug. trying to plug it in and <laughs> it's my bad. No, you're, you got it. Good so yeah, job. just as easy as that. And Look then, at this. And you can see the, the rear axle down here. Yeah, so a brushless motor with a 10 to 1 gear reduction and temperature sensor, uh, transaxle, so very industrial. And uh, uh, with the transaxle, it, it uh, allows you to turn very short, uh, short radiuses. Okay, so that means like one wheel will turn if it's on the outside and the inner wheel will turn slower so you're not like skidding the tires Yeah, and you stuff. don't get the wheel hop like a... We can, you know, like you're... There are some skid marks in here, but you know, there are some places where you really want to keep the floors nice. If they, this could be used inside. And so that's, it's neat that you actually did a differential. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely Sweet. a nice feature. So we can turn the display on here for you now. So, um, so as soon as oh, yeah. display pops up, we got our logo coming on. <laughs> um, and just like on our bikes, so the, the bikes that are available to commercial customers, the trike operates in virtually the same way. So you have five levels of pedal assistance. Uh -huh. um, and then your watt meter here, okay. uh, your distance traveled, you know, uh, battery gauge. And percentage, thank you. Yep, very handy. Um, but then there's so much more with this display, which we kind of built in. That's we custom built. This so he display. just held the up and down to get into settings. It yeah, looks so like. Both, so brightness, and I'm not going to go into the basic menu here, but this in here you have uh, a tremendous amount of options for uh, uh, both programming power output, top speed. The bikes come stock, 20 miles an hour, 750 watts, so fully street legal okay. in the United States. Class two, and then you were, so you were saying that you can actually disable the throttle, because I was asking about that. You said, this is pretty powerful, Court, like in, and maybe from a safety standpoint, you could disable it, or if you're in a state where they don't allow class two for some reason. Yeah, you got the disable button there, which is, it's just nice, because a lot of, you know, our, our feeling is that half of the people running these fleets around will just want to pedal it, enjoy it as a pedal bike, but then have the levels of assistance. And other people will just want to use the throttle for the convenience. So having that adjustability is always nice. That's awesome. And I noticed down here, guys, check this out. There's like a little uh, USB type A port. So you could plug in, you know, and, and put your phone there and the, the whole GPS thing. It's, I don't know, I, you've got that huge battery. It's nice to be able to use it for something. This is just so cool. Brian, I really appreciate the time. It's neat to see how Rad Power Bikes is expanding and offering like all, just this commercial vehicle idea is, it makes a lot of sense. This, this isn't the end of the video, Court. We gotta go take this thing out, show oh, you it in action. I was hoping we could actually <laughs> do this. I mean, it's getting a little bit dark, but we got the lights and everything. Yeah. You, does that sound okay? It sounds, me and Brian right. have been in the office all day. So Brian, wanna get let's out do it. You're gonna do it? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just gonna take the, the step through and I'm gonna get some footage. Sweet. Looking good, Sweet. buddy. Oh boy. <laughs> So I guess you would need double doors if you're taking no, this it, thing. It actually fits through standard doors. It fits through standard doors. How wide is it? Uh, it's just over a meter wide. Just over a meter wide. Wow. Nice. Right. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love the horn. Hey, we got you got a parking brake going on here? Yeah, so a parking brake, you know, front and back, motorcycle disc brakes that have parking brake engagement levers on them. This thing is gnarly. Yeah, look at these these levers, but they're hydraulic, so it's not like you have to be a brute to... No, they're they're, they're one finger operation, so... Okay, right, well, hey, the garage is closing. We gotta go! <laughs> it's 
sweet. It's a lot of tea. I'm glad I got a camera in my hands. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> a little to the left, Mike, just a little bit. Oh, there you go, perfect. This is about the company's weekly consumption of caffeine yeah. right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you guys are working hard. Okay, Mike has it in reverse. We got the doors open. Time to back it nice up, and easy. Back, <laughs> back it up. There we go. That's sweet. Pro. So you were thinking maybe I can hop on this yeah, and take it back great. to the warehouse? Yeah, please do. I'm gonna give this a try. That was fun. I, I wasn't, you know, I came here like not knowing what this thing was and really having no expectations and then getting to ride it around and actually carry a bunch of drinks and turn like this whole differential thing in the rear worked out really well. The suspension is great. I feel like I see the rickshaw type of, you know, like people movers in cities where they got people in the back and uh, the bigger tires, the motorcycle brakes, everything is really, really cool. And there's the motor close up and everything. So guys, this has been fun. It's cool to get like, a story, but I am trying to review this. It's a little bit tricky because this is the first time I've reviewed anything quite like this. So I've got Mr. Mike here, Radenba. You've been designing this for the past year to couple years? Yeah, it's really been a kind of a dream of our companies for a long time, building utility focused bikes. So a cargo trike's always been in the works. And you're the expert. And so what I, what I wanted to do was just back and forth with you. I'm gonna ask some questions, you can answer them. And in that, that sense, we'll kind of get the review. Okay, so, I noticed that this has like a nice, like angled or sloped top tube. So it's pretty approachable, kind of a mid step. And I, I'm guessing it only comes in one size, right? Yeah, it does just one size, but a lot of flexibility. Uh, the handlebars are very high rise custom, custom built bars. So you can move this forward and backwards for different you know, length of arms and the seat post as well. I noticed that, uh, you know, when I was riding it, I was upright. I could look around really easily. I'm 5'9", and I'm not a huge guy. I weigh like 135 pounds. I'm in decent shape, but when I was thinking about carrying all that load, I do you have any idea how much this weighs, like how much we've got in it yeah, right I now? Yeah, I mean, we have uh, 30 cases of, uh, of drinks here, so it's probably somewhere in the range of like four or 500 pounds. Okay. But the, the payload's over 700 pounds this, uh, on this Radboro. And it, it did pretty well. I was going up like a, a little like incline up to that alleyway, um, I purposely went a little bit slower to see like if it was gonna give out on me. It didn't, it actually handled pretty well in that sense in terms of power. I wasn't like zipping up to 20 miles per hour. It took me a minute to kind of get there. But when we were on the road, it, you know, it did. It started to go faster. I noticed that doing the turn signals, like you push in, it starts, you push in, it stops. So I'm, I'm getting used to having like two sets of controls on this and then reaching over for the Shimano tourney index. You know, the big thumb shifters, this is a cheaper part, but you can use it a little bit easier if you have gloves. It's like big buttons versus little triggers down here. Throttle. And that, does the throttle work in like all modes, even like level zero? Totally, yes. Yeah, so okay, so you disable it demand. and it's full power with the throttle, which yeah, is, correct. yeah, so you're not having to like mess around with that. The brakes were like a huge thing for me. They're, look at them, they're giant. They've got the little parking brake, um, I don't know what pin or something like that. Yeah, it's just a locking mechanism. So the front and rear brake. So you have three different motorcycle sized hydraulic disc brakes that are keeping this thing parked. Does the does the left one do the front and the like which uh, one does the left front? Left one does the front and right one does, does the two rear, the rear. So it's more uh, more like a bicycle. What are the these are different rotors? Like they're a lot thicker. And you said it's motorcycle like DOT kind of stuff. Yeah. So everything from the front end to the rear transaxle, it's all more motorcycle grade components than what you'd see on a 
on a traditional cargo trike where it's going to be more like downhill mountain bike stuff we yeah. went to the next level that leap forward so that's why those discs look unusual it's because they're from motorcycles the thing that crossed my mind with this is it, this becomes a little bit more like a vehicle but because it has pedals and because you can do the class class one thing it, you don't have to have a license or insurance to drive this yeah. other things i noticed again trying to squeeze stuff in here it's like you got the you got the bottle cage bosses. I really appreciate that, whether it's for a lock or whatever. You imagine if you're one of those guys and you're, you're pedaling, a pedicab, that's the word, <laughs> you're pedicabbing. You can reach down and get your whatever you're drinking. Um, I like the chain guide. I like the 12 magnet, like higher resolution on the cadence sensor up front. Really long chain here. Uh, and then your your drivetrain right here. So it's, it's seven speed, right? Yes. And I noticed that the tires are bigger, the spokes. These look like 12 gauge spokes. Oh, uh, they're even bigger than that, yeah. So um, they're a motorcycle gauge, so I don't remember the exact. Maybe 10 spec, or something like yes. that. Bigger tires, puncture protection or anything? Like so you these any... are actually, these are like moped tires. So these these types of tires are built for, you know, 150 to 250 pound mopeds. Yeah. And there's three of them, so all that weight's being divided across. Yeah, I, I like that. And then smaller, are they all the same size? These like 20 by... So that was a big thing. We don't, what we didn't like about uh, other trikes on the market, whether they're just pedal only trikes or the stuff you'd see down at the boardwalk that yeah. the guys are running people around in and rickshaw backs on them. We didn't like that the rear wheels and front wheels were different sizes. So we just standardized it. So you know, a fleet customer can just stock one size of tire, which is very convenient on both for our side on the supply side and 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 for them in maintenance. That's good. What's the width? So it's 20 by uh, three inch wide. Three inch. Mm -hmm. So these are like plus size tires. Yeah, they're, it? they're Kevlar. They're yeah. And then they got the plastic fenders and stuff. So those aren't going to rust or anything. Is the frame aluminum alloy? No, it's steel. So this the, is steel. The, the frame steel. All the accessories are steel. So the the bike's definitely built for a lot of rigidity and, and heavy payload. Okay. Very cool. You got the handle. Are you able to lift this thing up? How much is this? Well, with, yeah, without without cargo in it, it is pretty easy to move the thing around. It turns in almost a zero point radius. It, yeah, and the reverse is so cool. But I mean, do you know how much it weighs? Like with just the flatbed or something? Yeah, like so what's the just the, the stock? Uh, the bare trike weighs around two hundred and fifty pounds. Okay, and that's Not taken bad. into account. You know, a thirty one pound you know uh, fifty plus mile range with lithium battery. ion battery. Yeah, uh, the battery uses the Samsung thirty five E cell. So just like uh, the Rad Power twenty eighteen consumer bike lineup. Um, yeah, it's a very high quality energy dense cell. Yeah. Well, this is great. Is there anything that I, I haven't talked about? I mean, you know, I'm going to have all the specs and stuff back at the website. We're, we're running out of light. I just, it was fun to go actually use this thing and show it off a little bit. And I realized the customer here is more fleet. So where, where do people go to learn about this? Like Brian, where, what do you? Yeah, come visit us at the commercial tab on our website. So you'll go to radpowerbikes.com and then find the commercial tab situated right at the top of the page. Yeah. Uh, so whether you need to haul uh, a bunch of cargo or you've got food to deliver or you want to rent bikes and add to your rental fleet. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's really, it, it's it's hard to think of, uh, you know, applications that, that our bikes wouldn't uh, be a good addition for. So. Now that the sales pitch is out of the way, Mike, I was curious if you've gotten this thing up on two wheels or what, when it's loaded with cargo, it, fe it feels very stable and stuff, but I'm sure people are out there like, oh, three wheels. Sure. Yeah, so we've put it through its paces. You know, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's virtually impossible to tip over, but I have put it through every type of tip over test that's possible, whether that's full speed turns and locking okay. up the brakes. And it's pretty, and pretty stable. It's very stable. So the, you know, strong rear transaxle plus very wide width. It's it's sized to fit a Euro pallet in the back. Oh, so oh cool. It fits a standard pallet right into the back so you can pull up to a warehouse and just drop it in. Yeah. So they're very stable, low, and the, the battery packs, you know, mounted like an electric car down super, I love super that. Low. Yeah, the whole thing. It's kind of like those Sprinter vans. They look really tall, but they're actually pretty stable. Um, totally. And then they're able to fit certain places. So I, I love this. And then the story about how, uh, you know, some of these companies are starting to get like the electric semi trucks, and then you can go from one electric vehicle straight onto another one, or, you know, have people riding support like we did today when we we're picking this up. You know, there's there's tons of stuff we could continue probably forever. There's, I really appreciate everyone's help. There's one last Thanks feature though, Court. One, one more feature. feature. <laughs> we, gotta check out. we gotta squeeze it in. The most important part is oh yeah, the well, built in charger has a built in real cord. I so love this. It's slash tripwire, right? right? Like, you're at. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is great. You could <laughs> capture the competition. Um, yeah, and just the, the build quality and everything on this. I, I'm sorry that we're running out of light, guys. I was just, we were having a lot of fun testing this thing out. I hope this gives you a perspective uh, just on, you know, just something a little bit different. Still an electric bike. Um, I love that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For the full write up on this, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Sound off with comments and stuff. Again, this is more of like a commercial vehicle, the Burrow, uh, versus all the other Rad Power bikes. It's neat to see these guys going in a different direction. Uh, I'll do my best to answer questions. So will they. Again, it sounds like there's like at least a two 
like item minimum kind of thing and it's more of a commercial thing. So um, yeah, keep that in mind. Ride safe. We get locked out. Very cool. Thing is pretty awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a wet one, but look at this thing go. <laughs> hey Scott, what's up? Hey. Are we gonna be dry? Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited for this thing. I'm just gonna hop in. Got the little cover. Very nice. A couple little droplets on the seat, but yeah, it's pretty quiet too. Good day to have fenders. We're climbing a hill right now too, right? Yeah, I can go it. throttle only in it. It goes just fine. Look at that. Try to get some some motor shots here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mike. <laughs> we got room. Let's go to work, guys. <laughs> Sweet. What is this? What'd you get? Oh, this is a jasmine green tea? Dude, I think we could even fit like three people back here. What do you think? <laughs> oh yeah, right? definitely. Look at this. Okay, now stop. Okay, yeah, pretty responsive. Yeah. I'm dry. It worked pretty well. <laughs> Having a fun little tour around. We're in Ballard, right? Yeah, yeah, we're in uh, downtown Ballard right now. What are those mushroom sculptures all about? What's going on over I here? think they're from a local artist. Yeah, it's just kind of a little town square in yeah. the center. It's in a ballard. This is so much fun. Thank you guys. This is a great idea.